Hello there, everybody. Ah, um, wait, what? And we need to get our net back. I don't even know how much money or mark we had. So... Um... I don't know where... No, not you. I don't know where I'm going. Hello. You again? I told you, you can't have it. I'll play nice still. I... I'm sorry, Lon, but I need food more than you do. I tried selling it to the priest, but he wouldn't give me anything over half a mark for it. I can't buy mother anything to eat for that little. Look, Andrea. My mother is starving, Lon, and I'm the only one who can help her. Don't you understand that? Alright. What if I get you something else to eat then? Will you give me the net if I do? Maybe. Just go now. I must hurry. Mother has not eaten in very long. <coughs> Ugh. Okay. I'm... I'm gonna go to spring. Sorry, I didn't go to spring. I went to this guy. I didn't expect him to say anything interesting because I thought I could get her fresh food and not rotten food. But she said, want something? And I said, yes, but I can't pay you right now. Someone has borrowed all my mark. Ha, huh. ain't that a bitch. Can't risk to sell even spoiled goods on credits these days, lad. So that's all I get. Yeah. Alright, like I said. Going to spring. I wonder, would you credit me now? You want something? I'm a bit low on mark. Window shopping in fruit. No, that's just sad. Nope, you're not gonna give me crap, are you? Well. Yo, how's it going? Yeah. Um... Fish? No? Hmm. Where do I get food? I'm gonna figure this out. It is time to steal food. It is summer. At the stands. Sure suits me. Yep. I suppose the end justifies a bit of theft. Yeah. I'd say it does. Hey! I recognize you. We had a talk some time ago, did we not? Oh, you're that guy. I think so. What do you want? Oh, nothing in particular. Just out on a watch here for thieves and such. If you have been stealing things from these back alley stores as the owners are in their stands at the town square, you see. Oh, really? You haven't seen anything, have you? No, nothing. Nothing makes me madder than people taking advantage of a joyous occasion like this. Uh, I agree, but I have to run now, so... Really? 
Well, well. Been helping herself to some fruit from the dwarf store, I see. Run. Oh, no you don't. Yeah, that just happened. S sorcery? Perhaps I should try to stay away from summer for a while. Well, hopefully I got the food. Because he dropped some of it, darn it. Hey, I'm coming, slowly but surely. You got your food. And give me my net. I need to catch a bass or something like that. I have some fruit here, Andrea. We made a deal, remember? You would give me back my landing net if I got you something to eat. I don't have it anymore. A dog took it. A dog took it? Damn it, Andrea! I know you are starving like everyone else, but I need that cursed net! Just give it back! Ugh. Weren't you going to give the food to your mother anyway? Never mind. She died. I... I'm... I don't have time for this. I would just have to find another way to save this city. Well... Damn it. Doesn't even seem reachable. Where's the damn dog? Are you taunting me? Who would have thought? I assume you went all the way down. So that's where I'm gonna go. Yep. Don't go in the portal. You went in the damn portal. Snow. Winter. I wonder what happens if I go back to summer. Get back here, damn it. Um... Where did you go? Did you go inside somewhere? Right, did you go in here? No. Blah. It's gonna be the last place I check, isn't it? No. Ah! Gonna sneeze. This way, what do you want from me? Oh. Uh, 
Oh. Does it have anything to do with that other... That didn't make... Okay. Oh, this is frustrating. Walking in circles, looking for a dog. Probably back at the entrance. Going back to the entrance. It is interesting just how much the music changes from place to place. They do a good job with changing the atmosphere. Why would it be up here? It wouldn't, that's the problem. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I wasn't recording, but the dog was seen through this little hole here. So? Hey there. Good boy. Good. Give my damn net. Towards summer, then. Is that a good idea? Whatever. We gotta do what we gotta do. Summer it is. Well, here we go. Now that I think about it, unless the dog comes back through this portal, that dog is never going to get back to its own time. Whatever. This should be interesting. Yo, what's up? This is not good, Lon. The gate was not intended to be used by anyone but you. Why? It was only a dog, I... Lon, I understand that you are just trying to do good, but this is getting too dangerous. The time has come to abort this. What? Why? I don't understand. What if people started to use the gate to escape to winter? We can't risk that long. But I am getting so close now. You make no sense. Should I let the whole town die just because some mutt ran through the portal? You have tried, Lon, and you have made this easier for a lot of people, even if you don't understand it yourself. Do whatever you must, but I urge you to stay away from the gate from now on. Hoas? Why can't the people of Indal use the gate to escape to winter? It would save their lives, wouldn't it? Isn't that what we're trying to do? Partly. I should get up on the wall and catch those bats Tolch told me about. I can try to figure this all out after that. <clears throat> Will do. Alright then. Wait for the bats here until nightfall? Yeah. Tosh told me that the eyes of this species of bats become red and dry if they are infected with disease. I would just have to catch as many as I can and try to see for myself. Move the crosshair over a bat and press the action key to attempt to capture it. You cannot target bats to the side of the towers or one too far away from you. At least ten of them before dawn drives this back. Ah. Uh.
Come on. How did I not catch one of those? That was bad. I can move. Damn it! How many do I have? Apparently that's enough. That ought to be enough. Cool. Good. The last one. Damn it, it's not sick either. I've tried everything now. Absolutely everything. What the hell could be carrying the plague into the city? Me. Hoas gave me this bizarrely powerful ability, but I haven't been able to do anything with it. Nothing at all. Maybe his change of mind does make sense after all. It doesn't look like there is anything left I can do. Why bother? No. I should return to winter one last time. No people here have helped me this far. If there are any clues left, they are bound to be in the ruins. To hell with what Hoa says. Alright. Go in there. Am I supposed to be following those footprints? I'll take that as a yes. Yep. What is that? Andrea? Oh god, there are more. It, it is a mass grave. Why would they do this? I... I can't... Okay. So they buried everybody who was sick in one spot. Um, okay. So the dog bit someone. Hoas? I told you, Lon. I told you. No one must find out. Come back to summer now. Uh, is that what I'm supposed to do? Sure. Let's save the game first. What the hell is going on? You told me the plague took everyone. Plagues do not dig mass graves. It is very unfortunate you had to discover this at all. It would have been so much better for both of us if you had just returned home and died ignorant. 
Ignorant of what? Curse it! Curse it? It pains me to have used you like this, but you deserve better. But I have sworn to reach beyond everything for the Empire. Even morals. And I... Hey! Hey, you there! This time you are not getting away. That man is not a citizen of Imdal. Leave. Lon, I did only what I... What did you just say to me? Leave us be. Lon, I... Alright, drop your sword to the ground and come on. Leave us be, you pathetic dog of Imdal! You... murdered him! Uh, it does not matter, Lon. He was already dead. Killed by you. What the hell are you saying? I'm still saying I am the one that's carrying the plague around. <clears throat> I said that a little bit earlier. And that seems to be the direction they're heading. Stop speaking of riddles and tell me what the hell is going on. Why did you murder the guard? Tell me why there is a mass grave filled with the people I know in winter. Tell me why you want me to give up the quest to save hundreds of lives. And please, tell me how that cursed plague came inside the walls of Imdal. Perhaps you already know that. The person who brought the plague did not do so on purpose. How could anyone bring this disease without knowing he was sick? You have an immunity, but you carry it. Cloth carry bacteria too, you ignorant child. As do we. If your clothes did not carry enough of it when we met, my embrace surely made it certain. You are the one who carried the plague into Imdal, Lon. No. No. We are both infected. The incubation period will allow a month or two before symptoms start showing. No, no, no! You are the one responsible for this? You... You bloody coward! Am I a coward? Perhaps. But I am the one who voluntarily infected myself with a mortal disease. I swore to die for the cause of the Empire. And so I shall. I never want to delay this on anyone else. But as I met you on my way, I realized you could make it so much simpler. A stranger like me, inside the gates with no papers, could have been thrown in jail before I could finish anything. This concerned me greatly, but then there you were. I need someone who could move around inside Indal without raising up suspicions. Someone who I could depend to talk to a lot of people. To spread the sickness all through the seasons. Stop it. You mustn't blame yourself, Lon. Imdal was destined to fall. These people were destined to die. All we did was save the company, empire, life, and effort in bringing that fall. You filthy murderer! It's on. I'm glad you know where you went, because I don't. This is different. Probably not up, nothing up here. This is where the building was. Oh, I could go this way. Interesting. I assume that's where I'm supposed to go. But 
I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. So we are going to go back, back to the beginning. Oh, it's an old key. It's handle shaped like a sun. Well, right. I don't even remember which lock that was anyway. Unless it's right up here that I need to use it. But it doesn't seem like it. Put that thing down, Lom. We are both destined to die. Let us end this with some dignity. You will pay for this. Lon? I do not know why I even attempt explaining myself to you. I did what I did out of loyalty to the company. People like you will not ever understand war. I swore an oath, and I had to cause suffering to follow it. But it was never personal. I never wished anyone to suffer. You murdered everyone I ever knew, and for what? Over the pride of a crumbling empire? Because you would rather die and take all of us with you than question your cursed board? You are truly a coward. You're starting to anger me, child. Go home and let your mother care for you during what little time you have left. Never. Only one of us leaves this field. Press the action key right before host strikes to block attack. Hit him again once the sword is lodged in the ground to damage him. Do not block too early or else will strike. Ah. Uh, Further to the right there is, better you're doing. Very well, Lon. Come on. Ow. Damn it. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I suck at this. Did I not? Wow. Okay. That's what they mean by too early. So I can't technically lose this. I can just suck horribly at it. Just gotta get the timing down. Come on. Gotcha. 
Ow. Really? Stubborn fool! Why did you have to challenge me? <coughs> cough, cough. What are you staring at, child? Hmm? Here lies Lon Heckle, born 941, deceased 954. So, 13. Love's son and brother. Well, is this not a colorful illustration? Only one of us leaves. You said so yourself, Lon. You have no future. Just stop struggling against the inevitable and let me end you. Ha. Ha ha. Was I to die here? Would you bury me? No. Why deny the vultures the pleasure of... <coughs> Only one of us leaves this field. Only one of us goes home to their family. Only one gets a burial. No. That is... I can't lose. Time told us. Eamdahl might not have long left, but at least I can tell the truth about this plague. Who the hell are you to damn you? It is over now. Raise your sword. Not in trying anymore? I... I never... Sunset over Imdal. There you go. So that was the end. I wasn't expecting the... Well, again, bittersweet ending. He may have defeated... Hoen, Hoes, Whatever. But... The plague still happened. Everyone died. Great story, though. I'm going to be removing a lot of the music from this, aren't I? That was a good little story. It didn't drag on too much. Just enough to get me to every character in the place, practically. The important people. And yeah, nice little twist at the end. I mean, you come to expect it once you've seen or played enough, but... That's what happens. I am curious. Um... It's starting over. Why is it starting over?
just a second. Well, it just continues on. New game. Don't know why, but it does. Whatever. Anyway, that was Sunrise Over Eamdahl, and it was quite good. You don't have to have a really long game to tell an interesting story, and that told an interesting story. And I have to say, I really enjoyed the finale, the fight with Hoes, whatever, and all the revelations that were made. It was really good. Glad I played it. Next, well, I guess it'll be the Grey Garden. Anyway, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye.